Well, we are now in the iconic William Creek Hotel. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at our images. So I'm just gonna move through a few different images that we captured this morning on our flight. But what I really wanna to talk to you about today is how we can be more productive when we have a lot of images to go through, especially in a short amount of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will start with this image right here. And we just click auto in order to have Lightroom automatically enhance the image. I like what it's done, but I'm going to move the black slider up a little bit and then take the dehaze slider and move that up a bit as well. And when I do that, it will make my blacks darker, but it's also gonna add a little bit of saturation. Then I'll tap the R key in order to crop this image. I just wanna crop a little bit from the left and that one item there at the top. I just like this tighter crop. I don't really like things to be half within the frame and cut off so that half of them are missing. Okay, so let's say we've made all the changes that we want to our image and we go to the next image and we realize, ah, that's very similar. Well, there are a number of different ways we can apply the same changes that we made to the previous image to this image. One of them is just by clicking the previous button. Now, all of the changes that we made to the previous image have been applied to this. And it doesn't just mean the basic panel. It could be any of the different sliders in any of the panels. You can even copy and paste or use previous to apply masks as well as healing and cropping. But that is the one thing here that I don't want and that was the cropping. So I'll tap the R key to gain the crop tool again and then just click reset in order to reset that crop. Excellent, let's move to the next image. Again, I wanna make some quick changes. Here, I don't need to crop. So instead, in the basic panel, I'll click auto like we did before. I'll add a little bit of dehaze, move over to the masking, add a radial gradient, and I'm gonna hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, and then double click, and that's going to create a radial gradient that fills the canvas area. But whatever change I make, for example, if I decrease exposure, we can see that it's affecting the center of the radial gradient. I want the opposite, so I'm going to click Invert. Excellent. Now, let's say I want to apply all of those settings to the next image. I can go over here to Copy and then choose exactly what settings I want. So in this case, I could choose to check all, but like in the previous instance where I didn't want the crop to be applied, I could have gone in here and unchecked crop. So you can really pick and choose so it's much more powerful than just applying previous. I'll go ahead and copy those settings, move to the next image, and then click on paste in order to paste those exact settings. And I could move through an entire series of images just copying and pasting if I want the same settings applied. But what if there are some settings that I apply to some images and they might be images that I take today or tomorrow or next week, even next year. Then we can create what's called a preset. So let's say that we go to the edit panel and typically I usually take my highlights down a bit and I usually increase my shadows because typically when I'm outdoors photographing, the images are really contrasty and I usually wanna lower the contrast. Now in this case, we're, we're kind of working with a low contrast image because it is an aerial. So I would probably also increase the whites here and decrease the blacks. Then I'm going to increase dehaze and I'm just going to increase the saturation a little bit. Now, to make a preset, all we need to do is click on the plus icon, choose Create Preset, and then select whatever settings we want to apply. So in this case, I'm gonna call it Snap because it's gonna snap my image into looking better. I'll check None, and I wanna make sure that I include my highlights, my shadows, that dehaze option, as well as saturation. I'll go ahead and choose Create. And now if I move to the next image and I use that preset called Snap, and when I roll over the Snap preset, we can see we get a preview, and I'll go ahead and click to apply it. So of course I can always make additional changes because images differ from one subject to another. So in this case, I might want to amplify the dehaze slider. 
but we can see that it saved me from making all of those other changes. So there we go, three ways that you can increase your productivity, either by using the previous button, choosing copy and paste to copy and paste specific settings, or create a preset that you can apply anytime.